So you want to learn how to make your own Roblox thumbnail on mobile, right? I can help you do that. So first, you're going to want to find this game called Photo Shoot X Green Screen and open it up. Then you want to find one of these open boxes right here. And you can go to Open Pose Editor at the bottom and you can start posing whatever. So let's say you're done posing your character. I don't know what happened with the textures. Just ignore that. The Captures feature actually doesn't work because it eliminates the green. So you're just going to click on Clear Screen for 10 seconds and then make the screenshot. They actually already have both of my characters posed here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna find a background from a game. I'm gonna go MM2. For this game, like I said, I'm gonna go mill base. So I'm gonna find a region of the map that I like and I wanna use for the video. Say I wanna use this area right here. If you need to turn on captures, you should just be able to go over to the capture se section and it shows you can turn it on and off. And then you just click on that. And then when you click share, it'll give you an option to save it. I actually already had the thumbnail made here because of a failed attempt. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to redo some elements like the characters. So to import an image, you have to click on the camera button down here. And then scroll through your photos to find the picture that you chose. Now, once you have it in here, you're going to find the characters in your photos too. I'm only going to remake one of the characters because I don't feel like doing both of them again. So click on the layers button here for the eye next to everything else. Just click on those and it'll make everything completely invisible. We're going to go to magic wand up at the top left corner and we're going to click on the green in the background. Go to eraser, turn the pixels all the way up and then just start erasing. If there are like some little spots that you haven't gotten rid of yet, either you can just manually erase those depending on how serious it is or you could just keep using the magic eraser tool. And if there are these weird outlines around everything then you can just get rid of those for this i highly suggest doing it manually click on the plus sign down here then head over to filter or fx there's this feature called stroke outer you're gonna click on that and you can just make it black if you see any of these weird things here then just head back to the layer where your character is erase that and then erase the stroke for the little green pixels there unfortunately you can't get rid of that but there's this thing that my little brother jameson tried where he just used green outlines for the character so it matches up so i thought that was pretty smart so it's like it's not as efficient as a black or white outline but it definitely works anyways now we can move on to giving the cartoony outline to the characters so you're gonna go back to brush you're gonna click on this hand up here with the finger there's this thing called polyline you're gonna click on that Turn on force fade, turn length of start and end all the way down. So now you can just click anywhere and start outlining these. If you need to, you can try and match up the thickness of all the lines around it, just so it blends in better. And then you can just click on the check that shows up when you're finished. Once you're done outlining your character, you have two options. So you can turn off the polyline or you can keep using it. I think it would just be best to switch back and forth, because for smoother parts like the head, you're definitely going to need to draw it manually like that. It might take a few tries, so don't expect to get it right away. This is personally something that I struggle on a lot with my thumbnails, especially since uh, I do most of it on mobile. All of the rendering I do on the computer, but uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm done outlining the character. Now, if you need to get rid of the face, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the eyedropper. Once you select the color of your character's face, it should automatically set it back to the brush. Now you're just gonna keep using the eyedropper and drawing lines using the colors that you pick up on as you go further into the smile. And you're gonna eventually do the same thing with the eyes. Actually, with the eyes, you can just color over them like that. Also, I just realized I messed up here. Make sure that whenever you do this, Blurring the face out, it must be on the same layer as the character. Because I actually just messed that up here. So I have to merge everything down. Anyways, you're just going to use the blur and then just put it over all of this stuff here. And then you can draw whatever face over. I don't know, dude. Your choice. And to set these as transparent, go back to the layers. There should be this section where it says background and it gives you four different options. You can either click this lighter transparent one or this darker transparent one. In which I have to choose a darker one because it's just easier on my eyes. So if you have multiple characters for your thumbnail, you can just repeat this process and merge everything together. But once you're done, it should look a little bit something like this. If you have objects to include, then that should be easy. You just find an image off the internet and add a stroke over it. And hold on, let me show you something. You don't always have to do this, but sometimes you can add a white glow around the character like over the black one you can make it either the same thickness or you can make it a little thinner your choice but uh yeah something like this should be your finished result so yeah hopefully this helped you guys out